Hi, my name is Melissa Dunn, and today I want to take a few minutes and talk to you about medication errors, which is taught in the Nursing 300 course titled Transition to Baccalaureate Nursing in the University of Mount Olive RN to BSN program. This video is an assignment for my Master of Science in Nursing degree at University of Mount Olive. Three objectives for this video are to define what a medication error is, identify causes of medication errors, and identify prevention strategies. A medication error is any preventable event that leads to the inappropriate use of medication. It can occur at any time, for example, during dispensing, labeling, administration, or documentation. It is important to remember the six rights to medication, which is the right patient, drug, route, time, dose, and documentation. Some common causes of medication errors are administering medications that the patient may have an allergy to, crushing medications that should not be crushed, having drugs with similar names be mixed up, getting similar doses mixed up, and also distraction and interruptions. To prevent medication errors, it is important to know your policy and procedures and use them, use safety equipment and decrease distraction and interruptions as much as possible. An example of a medication error would be um, a nurse is about to give six o'clock medications and she only has two. She thinks it's gonna be um, real fast, simple. Um, she goes, pulls the medication. She has a car that looks a lot like this one. She pulls both the patient's meds and she has them laying on top of the cart. And she goes to the first one. The first patient should be getting a Synthroid and she scans the patient armband she gets them to say their name and date of birth and then she scans the medication and then she hears a uh, patient yelling out down the hall so she goes and she sees what that patient needs and she comes back and she finishes her medication administration um, she goes to the next patient. The next patient should be getting a protonix. Uh, she scans the patient. She gets them to say their name and date of birth. She scans the medicine and she gets a pop-up saying there is no order for this medication. And that is when she realizes she gave the patient who should be getting the Synthroid the protonix. She was about to give the patient who needed the protonix the Synthroid. So she went, she checked on that first patient. She notified um, her supervisor, the doctor, she put it in SI. She also notified the patient as well. Um, so if we were to go back and change a few things to prevent this error from happening, um, we would either pull medication for one patient at a time and, or utilize you know, your equipment, which is this uh, cart here. You have your drawers, um, you can put each medication for each patient in the drawers. You can lock it, pull out one patient's medication at a time. Um, and also, when that patient was yelling out, let your team members handle that or wait until you have finished what you're doing and then go handle it. Don't um, interrupt your med pass. Coming back after that interruption is when she got those medications mixed up. So I hope this video helped you um, define what a medication error is, identify some causes, and also identify some prevention strategies. I hope the story kind of helped bring in a, a real world example for you. The information in this video can be found on the FDA website. I would like to thank you for your time and attention. And please complete the survey provided in the Nursing Student Center and email it to my professor, Dr. Joy Kiefer, at jkiefer at umo.edu. Thank you.